JT. We have special guests in the studio today. We have the one and only London Customs. What's going on, bro? Yeah, there. What's going How on, are you, bro? Nice to see you, bro. Nice to see you, too. We also have Excuse Indica. Me. What's going on? Good. How, How are you? you? I'm good. Thank you. Thanks so much, for guys, for coming on. I really appreciate it. I know it's kind of like short notice, but we had to get you guys on. We had to get you on. We had to talk about what's going on with everything regarding upcoming with your brand, the apparel, the, cl the clothing brand, the customizations, everything, the tattoos, the ink. We, we want to know about all of it. And I know a lot of people are curious, and I know they're probably messaging you. So like I feel like this is also another great way to, for you to just let everybody know what's going on, what you're up to. Um, and I'm going to ask some questions also. You know, obviously, a, a back story. Uh, we met, what, 2000 and... 16 I believe at like Hempfest and that was like way back I, like, I remember you had some like sneakers like around you like you had matched that you were trying to sell and I just knew from that day like no bullshit like like this dude has it like he really like there's some people you you, you meet in life who you just it's like a weird opportunity not opportunity I guess you can say it's an opportunity but it's a weird experience like when you know when you meet somebody and you're like that person actually really has it because not that many people really have that it factor Appreciate you know and, and you definitely had it and i've seen it you know back then obviously i've seen it progress over the years you know now i'm, I'm not even talking about all the people that you've done work for for celebrities but just for people that don't know tell everybody who you've done or that you can think of at least because i know it's so many people that you've done work for uh, um, so far. Yes. Bobby Brown, Waka Faka, um, Bobby Mills, mm -hmm. um, Russell Westbrook, um, Trina, um, some, some more celebrities like Marverse, Pat Stay, Trippy, Tizo, Chris King, Young Thug, Young Thug, um, Mm. When you met Westbrook, that was that was pretty yeah, crazy. That was pretty epic. <laughs> Off the top, I can't really think, but there's so there's many, so many um, in the works. I, I have a piece of paper with a bunch of them that I haven't even been able to get work to. I'm just been busy. Yeah. And obviously, but there's yeah. only you know you have a lot of things in the works. We can't talk about you know certain yeah. things right now until they're actually out mm -hmm. in the open. But just know. I learned that you know, that sometimes you got to keep the blessings to yourself instead exactly. of throwing the lies. You know, because yeah, a lot of people throw shade and. Mm -hmm. want that shit not to happen so also just keep it away on top of that some sometimes by accident you can manifest the opposite thing to happen by by speaking too early so it's mm -hmm. always good to plan strategize mm -hmm. and just Amen. let it play out and then prom promote That's why I always tell her it. she says something and I was like it ain't done till it's done you know? exactly I, I totally agree Facts, man. but um so what do you have do you have like a new collection that you're working on or what, what's going mm -hmm. on with with everything yeah i have a little i have a little collection that i'm trying to release um and i'll be um dropping that and doing like a shoot with that and nice. dropping um i have some more lc apparel that i'm trying to drop with new like art um where i could make my art more um basically cheaper for the audience i guess that the ones i can buy the more expensive pieces that i haven't dropped as far as my big paintings and stuff like that yeah. But uh, I'm just trying to... And I think it's awesome, s side note, that you're putting up... And I know you've talked... You made, you know, posts and talked about it before. But I love how you have, you know, po Like, what, what's your highest thing item that you have right now listed on your site? Like, is it 10? Yeah. yeah. I love that you... Because like, you, you should. Like, it, it should be... It should even be more than that. But yeah, I, bro, it's, it's good it's, that... And it's, it's crazy. It's good to have and it's that. crazy. To, I, it's hard to... It's really hard to... I feel Think like I'll that. never sell anything. But you will. And it's it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be way feel, more than ten thousand. I feel I feel as though like you guys say it takes that for you to be like, bro, like his shit ten thousand dollars and you then they go the into people. information to be like, Why is his shit ten thousand dollars? And then they be like, like, cause it's ten thousand dollars, you feel me? <laughs> I, or I, even more. I mean, I mean. I appreciate you, though. bro. And, and, I, and I'm, I'm not. When I like, get into those areas, then I, I'll be able to like you feel me, like we're talking about yeah. LA and stuff. 
stuff, those are the people, and we meet the right people, they're like, 10,000? I know. Give me it. I'll go home, I'll go people. home, buy 10 more paintings and make 10 more, bro, and yeah. it's all over. That's the life right there, you know? So, Demo, definitely. I appreciate you, bro. Of course, man. I mean, you know, I always been supporting you. This was, <laughs> bro, I had the first hat, got a hat for somebody else, had this hat customized, this one that you did. Because I'm an Aquarius, it's my birthday yesterday, <laughs> and then so you know, your birthday was I'm, yesterday, yeah, February 8th. Really? Yeah, yeah, thank you, well, thank well, you, well, thank well, you. Well, appreciate it. Yeah, 27 you, years old. Wow. Again, I'm so bless age. you with some I'm birthday dress. I know, well, you're not old, bro. You're so young. Nah, I'm, 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 I'm getting there, bro. I'm getting yeah, to the you're chilling. You ain't old, you, nah, can't, you can't feel old either, bro. You're chilling. There's 35 year old people right now talking, chilling, talking about I'm young. No, mm-hmm. seriously. I think it's more. I, I'm just it's a ready. mentality. I feel. Yeah, and I'm just ready to leave the state. For, That's for what now. it is. Yeah. I mean, I'll come I back. Feel like I'll come back when I have old. when I got when I got millions. I'll come back and live nice and I'll get some place on like Nantucket or like, yeah. you know, a nice summer house somewhere. But it's time to go. It's time to Boston's an amazing city, as mm-hmm. you know. And like, I want to talk about that a little bit. You know. Facts. You know, bo- you a lot it's of just music. it's so hard to. And, and this is coming from someone who also gotcha, been in, who has run like a label and everything for four years and, and done podcasting and other things myself as well. It's so hard to like really create a buzz. And then once that, and like get that buzz to the level that ultimately it gets you to like, like really fame and fortune. It can happen, but it's going to take time. But nobody's really done it in Boston. We were talking a little bit off the show about like, you know, the biggest people so far is like Cousin Stiz and, and, and Bia. But Bia, I mean, really, I mean, she had, she actually kind of looks kind of good a little bit. But uh, the reason she like is really buzzing is because she had that song with Russ that was like, it was actually yeah. a top 40 <laughs> yeah. um, billboard hit. But I mean, that's Stiz, why I said Stiz it always, it it always takes that. Hit. It always takes that person to see that talent that takes them to the next level. But I feel as though like, you know, there's, there's, plenty of great people in, in Boston there's plenty of great people in the world I personally like I can't there's just not that many that are doing above and beyond in so many different categories yeah like I could say that I guess I don't even make music and I feel as though that if you put me in a in a room with some of the best rappers in Boston or Massachusetts I could I could probably rap with them I could make music with you and it's good to I have could, that confidence I could, I could yeah. rap with you I could you feel me like this freestyle game is you absolutely feel me? I could crazy. Do that. I've you been I've rap? been trying to progress on my freestyle game too. Bro, I've could, been I've been writing poetry since third grade. Yeah, bro, like, that's so my that's my best thing. I'm I'm good at. I was honest freestyle. English, bro. You feel me like yeah, I, I love I, I love I could write all day, bro. I, I could I freestyle love all day, yeah. like. Off any type of beats too. Any it it don't even matter. It doesn't even have fucking, to be a rap yeah, beat. He doesn't even need a beat. Yeah. You're right. You just fuck a beat. Yeah, yeah, we can go right down. <laughs> <bro. laughs> Literally, yeah, seriously. Yeah. And and to just to get back to what I was my my whole point was, I feel like when we're talking off air, Boston is is like the is completely the the opposite of like Atlanta. So like in Atlanta. And, and and especially in the music and art scene, everybody wants to put on each other. They want to see other people grow. They they want to see people get a, that bag. In Boston, it's not like that because it and and that necessarily isn't someone anyone's fault per se mm. because we haven't had someone. I mean, and shout out to Joyner Lucas for getting the key to the city in Worcester. That that's an accomplishment. Like no bullshit. And to work with Eminem, but like nobody, like really seriously, has like we we have we haven't had the Drake or the Jay Z of Boston yet, yeah. and and that isn't a knock on anyone. It's just a really hard thing to do to break that cycle because nobody's really done it. But once we get to that point, I hope that we can be more like Atlanta, where we're actually helping and putting on each other, like us doing podcasts. Other bro, it's not gonna it. be far away, and it's bro. not hard to do. <laughs> exactly, it's it's not, not far it's away. It's 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 soon, yeah, I know that, bro. Mm-hmm. Boston is all over. <laughs> And it, 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 I think it really comes down. I have this whole thing. You gotta have mad motivation, ambition, dedication, and de- and determination. That's in my last song. Bro, <laughs> you have that. <laughs> you set, bro. And that goes to anybody. 
and I, and I learned that the hard way because there were times like in the past like three four five years that I wasn't on my top of the ga- my game I'm still not even where I need to be or where I want to even be but that's when you grow it's like it's yeah, like Goku that's bro. That, that, you ain't never you ain't not the best yet it's Who's all better? about growth I yeah, want to fight yeah. the best I want to get better I want to get stronger I wanna no get matter stronger. what you acquire no yeah, matter what bro. you attain no matter what you accomplish it doesn't matter it, it's all about personal growth and like really growing as a person because Literally. you know there can be a lot of life lessons that you can learn at a young at a young age you know because a little off tangent a little like a little like different but like i was reading this article and it makes a sense like or not article but it's like a me- like a meme kind of thing about like people who people love differently who were loved in a, like a loving home compared to who like or on like like uh like um survivor mode i guess Mm -hmm. you can say like fight like so like you have like this different perception on like life and like and how i so everyone has like this viewpoint on like what life is supposed to be like and and how you're supposed to create this lifestyle that that you want but due to like social media and everything in society i feel like everyone's like created this whole like fake reality that like oh, like like mo- like money is everything yeah. cars and everything and like cars are cool i love cars as, as personally i rent them i, I love cars <laughs> and i'm I'll, i'm going to buy them when i have like mm. i'm gonna, i'm not going to i'm not going to finance no cars i'm i'm going to buy a lamborghini in mm-hmm. cash i'm going to buy a ferrari in cash mm-hmm. my rolls royce in cash mm-hmm. like i'm not going to be and I, and I'm, and I, when i post that on instagram that's not me fronting that's just marketing and that's just me enjoying my that's a hobby that I do but like my whole point is that there's two type of people in this life and 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 this isn't a shade on anybody personally at all but there's people that are that either really have it and or the people that really don't but at at the end of the day but at at the end of the day we all have it but it's about who's really willing to Go and put in that hard work, yeah, yeah, that's and, and that's the hardest fucking that's thing to fucking do, fact. bro. To to every every but that's single what you day, like, like the people that got it, and you talk about it, that's do your fucking flex that yeah, shit. Bro. But if it's like when you when you're talking about it and flexing, and you ain't even you can't if you can't buy it twice, don't flex it. You yeah, feel well, me? Like yeah, and for what? Like, and <clears throat> I, I mean, what? for an attempt to get some facts, box, bro, like, facts, and it's not facts, even not bro, even a facts. success. That's majority, it's, bro. That's majority what but, it is, bro. But that's, it's that's, sad that's because that that's. Is. But I mean, obviously, there's human nature involved. But like, but that's also what society and everything has portrayed. That like, mm-hmm. it's all about like what you have. And, and bro, I funny. always learned early that a woman and a queen will love you no matter what, what the fuck you, you got, have, bro. What you carry, what you have, you, yeah. Bro, I could walk down the street and I will have all the confidence to take a nigga's bitch in a Lambo. I don't give a fuck. She walking yeah. home with me, bro. It, you it, feel it, me? It like, really does it's just a different kind of, bro. it's a different kind of you thing because it's like mm-hmm. when you take that away from you, what do you have, bro? Once I have everything, it's like, bro, I done built myself up. I already know what I have. I know who I am. I love myself. It's like, which is one of the hardest anything. things to do. You don't is need to be a, able yeah. to get to that point where you're able to really accept yourself and love yourself. I bro, feel like, bro, it's, it's like funny because I'm I still, wearing, I'm still getting to that point. Bro, me personally, I stopped wearing all, fucking fancy shit. I stopped wearing my Jordans. I stopped wearing my cool. Like, yeah. I don't even give a fuck, bro. I stopped fucking getting haircuts. I stopped fucking. I stopped I caring about what though. people fucking... <laughs> keep. Bro, I don't care what people think about me no more, bro. And you should It's like, Nobody I'm just should. 100% But London, it's hard, to, it's hard like, to get to that level, though. Yeah, I walk down the Everybody street, bro, but naked, that. bro. Yeah. No more. I don't care no more, bro. If you don't like me, you don't like me. If it's because do, I feel like... Dress how you want. Yeah, dress how, how I want, want, look how I want, bro. I'm messy today. I'm gonna wake up and go outside like this. Like, you... I don't give a fuck no more, bro. But that's good though. Yeah, that, 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 that's the, the just mentality. Just gotta love you, bro. I love myself so much. Is that, and I, I want I mean that is like because people put me down so much, bro. I had to learn how to love myself and be able to look myself in the mirror and be like, damn. You feel me? You are something. You aren't nothing. You you feel me? Like people are in, you I don't walk in school with holes yeah. in my pants and no shoes and no gear and no fucked up and nowhere to sleep and, and look no, where you no are today. Food, you know, so it's like. I, I, they made me like this.
just fucking. You feel me? Had to you made feel. no, but they. I in, built in myself, a way, but you, then they but added you, the fucking. The, they they the helped the fuel. To, they helped yeah, the fuel to the fire. The fire. I love, but you I, already I love were that. starting to start that fire, yeah, and that always. shit. You 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 always had the fire in you, yeah. we, and we all have that fire in us. But it's our it's our job, to make sure that we don't let that fire like go out, and 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 mm-hmm. we need to make sure that shit stays lit. That's why I Honestly. feel like it's not good to dwell in the past. That's why I always it's hard. have conversations a, like yeah. that. But I keep it right here. Like, I think about it, but I don't go down under it. Mm. I'm like, yo, yeah, I remember what Tom told me in fourth grade, but this is why it's, I'm going to work hard today. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. like there's no one. So like, I feel like that's really important to have. Yeah. Especially, mm-hmm. like, kind of mindset. Um, so, you have new, um, like, hoodies, Jackets, shirts coming out and everything mm-hmm. soon. New jerseys. I mean, um, I got a I got a drop with some jackets coming. I got some hoodies coming. I got t shirts coming. I got caps coming. New apparel. Um, but the a lot of them, a lot of what I'm doing right now is a lot of work for like, just like celebrities and trying to figure out my place in this world, you know. So. I put it aside, and now I'm doing tattoos Amazing. now. So it's like I'm really trying to figure out. Um, and Macy's too. So it's like there's so many different things I'm In doing. York, so it's right? like what I'm mm-hmm. trying to do yeah. right now is like, what the fuck? I stopped taking orders because it's like I need more time. The demand is I that high. More, I need more time to like figure out my destiny, like you know. So and it's I like, think yeah. We'll LA is calling, and after I talk to you, I won't talk about it. But yeah, we'll talk off camera. After yeah. we talked about um, what yeah. I told you earlier, that's what told me everything's been leading me to LA. So, I mean, that's that's where a lot of opportunity. I it mean, is, but and unfortunately, says that, but, but the downside is the yeah. taxes are extremely high. Yeah. The way that the, the governor Gavin hey, Newsom's bro. a fucking idiot. The way they're handling COVID is really, really, really bad. Um, but. A lot of celebrities and famous people are actually moving away from LA, but still, I think that's actually there's actually a little silver lining in that because I feel like the people that like that really do have talent that do move to LA when all these famous rich people and already established people are moving out actually gives us the 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 little man per se a, a better shot and opportunity at like really making it big out in like. You know Hollywood in LA. Yeah, yo. Yeah, I mean, before we keep going, I yeah. want you. To, I want you to introduce yourself. <laughs> Hell yeah! I gotta introduce. Let, yeah, let the people well, this, know. T- 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 I want to tell everyone this is this is my right hand. This is my this is my right hand. A lot of shit that people don't know, like she's assisting me with it. All the things behind the scenes, she's helping me take care of it. All of my inboxes, um, my business events, everything else. Helping my life easier, helping my life, you feel me, in a lot of ways. People couldn't imagine, so I'm thankful beyond That's anything, rare to have. Bro. So it's like, um, yeah, it's only right that I, I shed light on her and allow her to get the same light as I am because she's as great. So Of course. Introduce yourself, man. Yeah, and tell everybody, like, what you do um, in, in terms of, like, helping the LC brand and everything, like... That, um... So I'm Indica. I go by Indica Love. You can find me on Instagram at Indica Love ninety six. Um, I am a model and a. I like to say cannabis connoisseur. I was one of the first um, under twenty one medical patients in Massachusetts, and I work Holy with shit, a lot impressive. of the dispensaries and growers in the Massachusetts area. Basically, testing and doing duty when it comes to cannabis and trying to spread awareness on what it can actually do um but mainly i am a model that likes to bring cannabis into the modeling industry because it kind of isn't as accepted and that was one of the first things that happened. I feel like it's kind of like taboo in a way yeah i had gotten due to society a scholarship mm-hmm. actually for one of the biggest modeling companies barbazon and that's awesome when i did that I actually, the first week that I was there, I informed them that I had my medical marijuana license and I told them that I couldn't be on premises when I needed to take my medication, but I did need to medicate to be able to physically walk through and make it through all the class things and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But because of them not being aware and not knowing how to work with the cannabis industry, they took my scholarship away. So I decided to do everything on my own. When was this? What year? uh, I want to say... 
I was night no, I was twenty because the cutoff age was twenty one. So this was three okay. years ago. Jeez. Or four years ago. So when so when did you link up with with London in terms of like business? <laughs> like? So literally a little bit over a year ago, okay. um, I decided when I first started modeling to go to L A for um, a vacation. And when I went out there, when I got on the airplane, the person sitting next to me, um, he, he asked me what I did. He didn't talk to me the whole ride. Yeah. It was just super, like, awkward, but I could tell, like, he wanted to say something. And then towards the end of the ride, he asked me, like, if I was from Boston or whatever and what I did. And when I said I was a model, he was just like, oh, do you know London Customs? And I was like, no, I have no idea what the fuck that is. And, like, <laughs> truly, I had no idea who he was. I lived under a rock my entire life. Like, I didn't have social media. I didn't have none of that shit. I don't fuck with none of that shit. I don't talk to nobody. I don't care for that. I like nature. I like animals. <laughs> like, that's just who I was. Yeah, it's just um, a different realm. Yeah, yeah. I, I just started modeling when I did this. Um, so he talked to me about him. Then I got off the airplane. The dude I was meeting knew... London as well so it all became like a bunch of things that were coming to my brain so I hit him up That's so crazy and the first literally the first thing that he said to me was if I better make some time for London <laughs> and <laughs> I literally made time ever since like every single day I don't know it was just for me I, during that time I was extremely lost so I didn't really know what I wanted but I knew I wanted to make something of myself and give myself Everything that I kind of denied myself for. You hear that? So if London says make some time, make, make some, some time because it's some time. greatness. You'll never okay. regret it. Say what bro. Make some I time. never regret say what it. She's bro. At. <laughs> like, greatness, bro. Literally, goats. <laughs> mold them and bold them. Absolutely yes, amazing. Like literally, the first day that we met, we hung out. It was fucking like we knew each other forever. It was just, it was just like one of those connections. Amazing. Literally, and then we just fucking. Dude, been and all it is is then. just. It's all it's all it's been for me. I, I feel as though it's just helping her ignite her fire, bro. Because you feel me, like now she's painting. Bro, I never painted a thing me, before my life. Like, I never. I would have never said I was an artist. I would have never said I was anything besides like a model that rolls up and does things that like. Now you have all these different labels because yeah, you got inspired. Bro, I have my own clothing line. I fucking awesome. hand paint items. I make clothes that like fucking even Bally Baby wants her babies in my clothes like, the shoes. <laughs> like it, so where can, I would have never thought people, that that's that's really impressive so where can people if they're interested in like uh, more information about that where can people like um, find so that? on my Instagram daily I always post my work that I'm making but I also have my own um, Instagram page for my clothing as well and it's um, at Indica's Lounge and yeah you can find yeah, drops and things like that Mm -hmm. But I literally just post whenever I post things. They usually aren't. They don't last long, so I can't really. That that's a good yeah, buy it now. That's, that's a, yeah, that's it's, a, it's buy it now or don't yeah. buy it at all because it's all one of one. He's the one that taught me that one of one is like the most beautiful thing to me because, for me, I always wanted items that were different and I never wanted things the same. That's why I hated every fucking artist or every clothing line. That I, so I just got the regular, which was just Nike, and I ripped it up or I like did something, whatever to it, mean. like. And then I met him and <clears throat> him teaching me to create something that's one of one because everyone else is one of one. There is literally, there's no one else unique. other than you. Mm -hmm. Why fucking, if you made a mistake, it's not a mistake. It was supposed to be that, making it into something that was different. Like, he's just taught me so many fucking crazy things that... Fun, like, important, even fundamentals that you use in, like, different situations every aspect of, life, of life. Literally. Which is really, like... To have a connection like that between you guys, that's the, again, that's rare and that's special, mm -hmm. and that's something that, <clears throat> that that's awesome. Right. To like, there's a lot of people I don't. There's a lot of people that I don't. Um, that are not like even that. talk to anymore, and you know, I, I I realize that in this lifetime, the people that's supposed to be in your life to, life are supposed to be there. Of course, I don't. Yeah. I won't beg you. I won't ask. There's no. Problem. I know I'm myself, and I have, I have myself problems as well. We I, all I, have our problems. I isolate I have my myself from Me too. almost everybody, bro. Me too. I isolate myself from everybody sometimes. Even I won't talk to her for two, three days. I won't tell her why. No, I don't want to talk to you. No she ain't gonna ask me because she knows me. <laughs> I need a, I need my time. And it's important to have people like yeah, that, that, know? that know your... <clears throat> I don't want to say... To I don't want to use the word toxic traits, but to yeah. know your your phases. Exactly. Like your, your, Rather than going around her and spreading and my assuming, toxic and my sadness and yeah. my madness and allowing it that shit to go to her, 
It's yeah. not what I what I'm here for. And that's hard. I'm to here find. to deal with my problems and learn. So while I'm in that process, those three days, I'm in my room like, London. How the fuck are you gonna get over yourself problems? What do you need to do? How are you gonna learn from this? What do you need to change? So that's my thing, and that's why I'm learning every single day and trying to get better. I'm so far from perfect, so that's. I think that's the best part about life is growth. I learn even from this conversation. I'm gonna go home and do something so different. You know, I do change myself. I get better every day. That's but important. yeah, back to her. Like it's just like a. I'm thankful every day because it's rare to meet friends and people that even want you to succeed and drop drop their ball to help you fucking score. You know, so it's like. With, with what no, I do, like, with no expectation of anything in it's return. It's because fucking from mm. the moment that I met you, excuse my language, from the moment that I met you, I bet, even <laughs> from the moment that I fucking met you, the first thing that you said is every any event I have, anything that I go to, I, like him knowing the position that I'm in with being a model and where I want to be and mm. the voice that I want to have, like I'm also disabled, so and most people don't know that I have a lot of health conditions as well. That which are half the reason why I want to get to a position where I can speak on things because most models don't talk about shit like that. Same, and I like also I want to be I want to be able to use my platform that be an advocate for for multiple things. Exactly, and like he knowing what I want to do, he's easily like okay. Every event that I have, you can easily network. You can easily find people. People can see you anywhere. You no, know, I just gotta bring you somewhere, and someone's gonna see you. Fucking. Go to LA. Someone will see you. Like it's it's just putting the, yourself out there too. Exactly, yeah. and the fact that he was willing to do that, not even fucking knowing who the fuck I was, just <clears throat> not giving a shit. Of course, I'm gonna fucking if I cook. The first thing I think of you. You need food. I got you. If you don't need food, you can save it for later. You'll eat. Like I, I don't fucking care. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> want your laundry done? You want anything? Like even if it's like the stupid shit. If it took him over a year to him to allow me to take his laundry, <laughs> like literally. <laughs> Just because I, I, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'll do that for anybody. If I care about you and I know that you're busy as fuck, I want you to be good in any fucking aspect. And whatever I can do, I'll fucking do it. Like, if I can do anything for you in any way, I'll do that. Because I see how much you care for me and I see how much you care for other people. And nobody, everybody deserves that in life. Like, if you're my friend, I'll give you that because you deserve that. And someone else is going to show you that. And that's amazing. Like, it, it's I like, just... I feel like that... I, I totally agree. I feel like that's much harder to find nowadays, especially in our, like, generation. Probably. Like, to have really someone that's really, like, there for you, like, right. really... Because at the end of the day, I feel like, thin, bro, everybody like, uses everybody, bro. Literally. It feels that's like it. Bro, feel it. That's it. not I even a personal attack at anyone specific. Bro, that's you know just what's, in general. You know what's like, even worse, bro, is that when you, you know you're being used, bro, and you just go with it because it's life, bro, you know? Or sometimes oh, both three, both three yeah. are using each other. No, no, that's when it's good though. That's when it's like you have to use people. Like, you but then, but there's sometimes like, that's like we're using each other yeah. right now. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Like it's not like we you. I, I use her every day. He as she uses he me. literally but yelling I told me you, all like, the time. Use I use, me. I use, I use oh. her, and I tell I tell her, I'm like, yo, use me, use me. <laughs> I, I go know. here, pull the fuck up. You getting something out of it? I don't give a fuck. Take from the plate. The plate is yours. But that's what people. And this, I feel like it's a Boston thing where it's like, it's more like, no, not even a Boston thing. Fuck the Boston thing. Let me square that out. But a, a people thing where it's like, um, people are envious. Of yeah. People. It's like a low yeah. key. Uh, it's like a, it's like a, damn, I can't let you get higher than me. I don't want you to get this. I don't want you to get this. I could have this. Well, if I could get this, why would I let him get it? Like, it's like a, what the fuck? I don't hard. give a fuck what you yeah. got. Put, I'll show it's, you the way to ten man, million dollars, bro. Yeah, Come yeah. with me. I, I don't give see, a fuck, I bro. See like, people successful. Nigga, I want you yeah. to win. I want you to have that shit. I want you to get rich, bro. I'm gonna get rich for fucking regardless. And I'll share your shit for the next fifty exactly. fucking days of my life, and I'm still gonna sell all my shit. Exactly. I'm gonna I'm gonna post your shit. I'll post mm-hmm. her for the rest of my fucking life, and I'll post my shit. I'm still gonna succeed. And if everyone did that, like you feel me, like I, I totally agree, yeah, bro. But if, I feel like if if everyone, especially in the music art creative scene in Boston, did that, it would It'll just be way bro, fucking different, bro. It would bro. change the whole way trajectory. Di- of and it sucks to even say that that is a Boston thing, bro. Yeah, but it, it is, is. <laughs> it, bro. bro it, I fucking love Boston, yeah, and I love me too. everyone that supports me. Every but fucking person, I got blessed. But there's the something about it. Them, Nobody wants to but see the other man win. I feel like yeah, it's a cool fucking. Room. They say it's a crab it's in a sad. bucket city, bro. And it, it is. It's like as soon as you're there, bro. It's like nah, fuck that. I'm not buying his shit no more. He's, you feel me? He's lit. I don't want to buy his shit oh, no like, more. Yeah, I, but 
but I'm still gonna to the creep, point I'm where still people, gonna watch and still no, and, whether people will buy shit to the from the person next to you. You feel me? They'll literally go to the person next to you and don't know them mm. and see your shit right there. They won't buy it. Why? Because they don't want to put the money in your pocket. That, to me, is fucking cornball shit, yo. Of course. But then they'll, they'll, they'll spend shit, fucking bro. their Fit, whole stimulus check on bro. some, like, de- <laughs> some designer shit. But couldn't, couldn't like, spend... <laughs> Two, 700 on a fucking or, or MCM they just look like bag. everybody yeah. else. Fucking cornball. Yeah. To look like, like fucking else. Yeah, that don't even no really difference. got it, bro. And You're to impress, like, and everyone has this, cornball, this false per- <clears throat> perception. I feel like, and I feel like we've all been through it at one point or another. Or maybe, if, maybe you haven't. That's awesome. But I feel like a lot of people have this, and also due to society, this pre no, you know, pre like notion that you have to have that designer to be like. Popping, cool yeah. and popping. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, you don't, sweet, bro. bro. You can you can I have a hang shirt whack, on bro. and still that pull a, whack, pull man. a girl, or pull a female, or vice versa, or whatever you're into. I like, look at it like this, you bro. Don't, you don't need it. You, you don't need anything. You look at celebrities; they can literally walk down the street fucking naked. They can walk down the street wearing absolutely nothing, but it's literally you give a fuck about that person, and you'll fucking like that person strictly because of what they do and who they are. It I doesn't agree. matter what the fuck they wear. So yeah. why is it? The clothes that make them. It's not the clothes that make them. It's what they fucking do and who they are that makes them. Yeah, you I just know about it. I think it. the only resemblance yeah, thing I've ever wanted is my hair like ASAP Rocky, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I've ever wanted uh, to be like somebody else. Is like, yo, I want my fucking full braids like ASAP, bro. I, that, like, I've Gucci never wanted to look like nobody. He like, had, like, what? He had like this <laughs> Gucci... Like North Face, like winter jacket. Bro, he's Something just one of the flyest bro. motherfuckers. Bro, period, bro. Yeah. That motherfucker's just flyer than, but he's flyer just, than Pharrell. Nah, fuck no. no. Pharrell. Is nah, anyone flyer nah, than Pharrell nah, in the ra- in the rap game? Nah, no, because then you game. got. I don't think, I think it's like is. a it's a Fab Pharrell. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a but it's different styles. Fab is, Fab's more yeah, like Fab stri- is like, just fucking. Yeah. He, he really be like matching. Yo, with, Fab, hit me up. <laughs> but like, but like, I feel like Pharrell will be like more like mismatching. Nah, but he's still, just like not, a, I wake up, Pharrell, nah, bro. He wakes yeah. up with. Like, <laughs> nah, I feel like Pharrell don't need to way. do shit. And he he's hasn't even aged. He looks the same. Man, bro, he's, like he's been in the bro. game for like twenty, like twenty five, twenty. Like, like, bro, he's like literally he almost fifty. Same, bro. He's like almost yeah. probably like fifty, and he looks like, like he's, he's like twenty one. No, <laughs> I look, I look older than Pharrell. Yeah. Like, that, like, that, that's a fucking problem. Like, how the fuck do I look like? How yeah, the fuck yeah do that's I just his traits. I feel like that's just a manly thing, though. That's like a that's bad. not good. Like when I cut my fucking beard off, I fucking look like I'm twenty two, bro. Well, you're not even lying. Oh, when I cut my beard off, I look like I'm like. 17. <laughs> That's a good thing, bro. That's a good thing, bro. You know, this is a COVID look, you know. This grew in COVID, bro. It took like I, I know. I, Not I even. That shit per- was there in a month. month. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. And then you trim that shit. Beard. I sat yeah, in my I room and didn't stories. fucking leave for like a month. And I, this was I happened, showed up. Bro. I didn't see him for a week and I showed up and I was like, whoa. I was like, what the fuck? I, think I had hair everywhere. Bro. I was like, I'm trying something new. Yeah, I was <laughs> just like, yo. And then people started being like, yo, it looks nice. Because I would always say, there would only be like a day like a day that would go by it where there'd be like a little bit of stubble and he'd be like nah I gotta shave that shit like, <laughs> and I'm like nah it looks good what the fuck? just let it grow just let it grow you look good oh, I came you good. fucking finally did it and it should it looks like well yeah wait till I get I gotta get haircuts bro I don't get haircuts bro that's the thing about I me get the once I really start fucking giving a fuck and I start cleaning my shit <laughs> you're, you're on your like I'm on my know, I don't Jake, give a fuck you know I'm still like, in COVID mode you know when like bro. Jake Cole COVID or Kendrick now. Lamar are working yeah. on an album they get all like they just don't give a fuck. They, yeah. they, 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 don't, they don't As long as my yeah. outfits, yeah. as long as my outfits LC, I'm yeah. chilling. Yeah. Bro, you know? That's all you need. I mean, yeah. and, at, and at the end of the day, you don't need any of that. Sh- at, and that's at, what really I say. I don't, want, I don't ever want to portray anything other than I'm me. Of who bro. you are. I walk down the street and you see how I feel, bro. You know, on my apparel. That's how you feel. I don't need day. chains. Like, even my chains, bro. I got one real fucking chain and everything else is fucking crystals. I don't, I don't need no fucking other change, no bro. Yeah. I bought this and I don't need no other drip. Man. I mean, there'll be a time <laughs> in your life just, where you'll be able to. Like, nah, it's just yeah, it's just but, but, like, that I, that's I fucking don't you, care just, about. Like I could go buy chains right now. If no, I of want, course, no, but I'd rather buy shit that I could reinvest in myself in. and be able to double invest up, in my up, London customs, invest in my vintage, invest yeah. in my my a store that I want, invest in my traveling, invest in my my next my next home, my next you know my next place. That's that's everything. That's the, that's now, major you know? key, and that's, I feel like that's the mindset. I feel like a lot of people yeah. learn through two, like twenty twenty and during Corona, like 
a lot of things fought, like a lot I got like really lonely for people it also got like really uh I brought a lot of awareness of like what you really want in life and what you need in life that's and what you a, don't that's want that's a fucking fact because yeah. so many people started doing shit that they it's wanted to do before because it was the perfect op- time yeah, and opportunity man. you had nothing else to do I so think a lot I think a lot of it too I think I think it's dope because I feel like a lot of people realize how hard it is to be an artist Mm-hmm. That's like I, you yeah. can't just fucking pick up bro, shit and paint it, bro. Everybody you cannot just that. customize it well, not, tomorrow, bro. It ain't that London, easy. Everybody's mm-hmm. trying, that. bro. Bro, there's so bro, many I people know, that we I know. I know. I've motivated, bro. I have, I've had hundreds Same, bro, of messages, bro. Yeah, I know this the feeling. It ain't that easy, bro. I, I you know, know the feeling. I I know when I even bro, started podcasting in 2010. People ask, do you use stencils? Do you use? They be really trying to learn. And I mean, honestly, bro, anyone can really fucking do it. You can grab some fucking material and really do it but are you using the right fucking materials are you using the right paint you should, are, are you, you even fucking are you what are you doing it for to begin with you should offer with? consultations bro, once you, you charge the person bro, and once you start them, fucking doing it classes, for money bro, even, once you're not you can, making it you can no tell them you can tell them exactly how the fuck to do it like I, I people have asked me how I do my lettering so fucking perfect bro I literally he watches me and I'll just sit there and I'll fucking be precise over and over and over and over yeah, again if you're not gonna fucking if Back, if you yeah. won't put that work in and put that dedication and make sure every fucking fabric hole is covered and made sure that every literally, line bro. is absolutely perfect and it's straight and like bro it's literally, literally she'll sit there and watch me fucking paint a jacket for three hours bro four hours bro you feel me just consistently like, like literally, literally. It's just time, I don't have the patience not like, I personally can't not even can well, not only day. jackets I'll sit it's there and watch them paint day. fucking <clears throat> lamps fucking Pokemon cards like the most like intricate fucking things and it'll turn out so fucking beautiful. And other people were just like, oh, did that take you like two weeks? I'm like, no, he sat there for fucking Yeah, that's why it's crazy. I, two just, hours. It's, 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 that's why another out. reason why it's hard to sell art, bro, because it's only valuable to people who value art, you know? Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's like someone could easily it's, be like, yo, I'll, I'll pay you $50. And it's like, bro, like you're paying $50 for a fucking printed t-shirt that someone took no fucking time to and also cost literally, bro. Like a dollar. You bought a fucking Gucci it's shirt bad. today. That fucking Gucci mm-hmm. took a, bought a fucking two dollar T shirt, sent it to the fucking manufacturing, bro. Printed a fucking two dollar patch, total four dollars. Sent it, sent it back, bro. Then they put a fucking whole six hundred dollar price tag on a T shirt when I spent fucking a whole week on a fucking hoodie, fucking hand painted, wearable, washable, different. One of one, not like anything else in the fucking world, but you want to charge me less. And then the returns, that doesn't even make no the overstock sense and the returns of, of these designer mm. like Gucci and all that shit, they burn those shirts and the bro, materials because they, they don't want to give it out to they don't want to give it out to people because they don't want because they know people they, will make money off that shit. They, they want to make it more exclusive, bro. so they they would rather burn burn, and, it. burn and sell, yes. I mean, not even sell, burn their mm. own fucking expensive the up, their the expensive inventory. fucking yeah, in, inventory. Then give it to somebody that wants yeah, that, bro. and you respect that, and you want to buy their shit. Fuck that shit. Or well, London will literally sit there when people don't. If if someone walks up and they love his shit and they truly love his shit and they see a price tag, he doesn't give a fuck about his price tags ever, ever. He can fucking price something for two hundred dollars, but if you really fucking want something, he'll work with you. Like half the time, he always, the one thing that he always says is he doesn't give a fuck about the fucking money ever. He never gives a fuck about the money. The only thing he gives a fuck about is someone going home with something that. They truly love. And don't get me wrong, I feel like a lot of people fuck fuck it up when they I say that. When I say I don't care about the yeah, fuck, I give a yeah. fuck about you my money. Messages I make yeah, money. I'll get you $4.99. I make money. I am not broke. <laughs> Believe me. But when you work I like that. Yeah. I, when I've understand from successful entrepreneurs people take and people kindness for weakness. Bro, also. And and it's like, bro. If when I fucking cut off fucking fifty dollars, sixty dollars to a piece, when I could just go home and make it again, that's that's a customer that's gonna come home, come back to me, bro. You feel me? That's tenfold. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Up. I, I do so many things. I'm gonna make money if no one buys my gear today because I'm You'll doing okay. something else to make money. You that's feel the me? key to that's, getting that's rich. Why, bro. Multiple wanna, sources of, of yeah, income. bro. And it's like that's how I work, bro. It's, it's more. I'd rather this conversation than what we both get out of it. You feel me? Yeah. I'd rather this connection that people, we have rather and than other people alive. maybe taking something from it and being able yeah, to use bro. it in their life as well. That's exactly Cuz if we can inspire about, other people, cuz that's one of my main missions and I know it's also both of yours. Right, is to you know have you guys have a message and motivation. You want to use that platform <laughs> when you guys you guys have it already, but when it gets, you know, bigger and bigger, you want to be able to use it to 
advocate and talk about real issues that really Thanks. mean a lot to you, you know, um, and I feel like that's that's rare to have. Not rare to have, but that uh, that's something special to have, I, I guess you, you should say. But yeah, so you have the clothing, you have all that, sh- that stuff coming out. Um, where can people follow you for tattoos? Because I know everyone's talking about uh, they want ink from LC. They want the London Cu- Customs tattoo, the mm-hmm. London Customs ink. Um, but there's so many different avenues and ways to contact you. Yeah. So I want you to tell I mean, the people um, what's the easiest way that people can Dude, the easiest way to contact me if you are not my mother <laughs> or my brothers <laughs> is to hit this woman up. <laughs> Indica Love 96 is the easiest way you can Spell contact that out, me. just so people know. I N D I C A. L U V nine six with an underscore at the no end. no I'm underscore. Just, oh, no, <laughs> that's just no it, underscore. That's it. That's it. Yeah, ninety six. Um, you I mean, but if you want to get the tattoos, if you want to get the tattoos, you can hit the Midas Touch page. That's on Instagram. But the uh, easiest way is her, bro. I do so many things, bro. When I feel like a lot of people feel disrespected when I say that, even for the people that I know personally. I'm not saying not that like I don't that. got time to talk to you. I'm not saying I don't want to talk to you. I'm not saying I don't want to take your order. I'm not saying I'm not busy. Bro, I have fucking too many things that I do. People literally think that I sit home and fucking just have time to do shit. Bro, I'm fucking working. He I doesn't even have time to eat. Bro, I don't even fucking <laughs> like, yeah, eat. Been, bro, he will literally he sit like, there. Like, and and he'd be like, like I got this food three hours ago and I still haven't eaten. Yeah, bro. It's bro people think that I'd be joking. Literally. Like, oh, like you fucking, you see my messages, you seen this. Bro, I'm fucking working, bro. I don't sit to do shit. Bro, I don't, there's not a time I sit to even watch a, I can't, I don't even watch tea. I don't do this. I don't, bro. I'm doing You're shit working. all day, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm not painting, I'm doing inventory. If I'm not doing inventory, I'm probably doing a tattoo. If I'm not doing a tattoo, I'm fucking working on my next idea for my fucking my gear. All if right, I'm not studio. doing that, I'm fucking in the studio. If I'm not doing that, I'm writing. If I'm not doing that, I'm Photo back shoot. on my gear. Photo shoots and bro, it's just like a traveling for my life right now. Like I said, bro, everything is just pushed to the metal, bro. There is no chill time. There is no chillaxing. There is no. But back to the topic, bro. It's like, if you really want to contact me, and I love everybody, bro. I would love to tattoo you. I would love to get your gear. All you got to do is inbox her, bro. It's not that It's not that hard. A lot of and if you really support me, bro, I understand that a lot of people be mad because they want to communicate with me. Or it's like a lot of people just like, I just met someone that wanted to see me for so long, bro. And it's awesome. That shit's awesome, bro, to have someone that looks at you mm-hmm. like that, bro. Like, that you're a legend, bro. You're like, yo, this. And it's just, that's fucking everything. But a lot of the times, I don't have the time to do that. Like, you, f- I, I can't even give my presence out a lot like that no more. You feel me? You I feel, feel like that. I feel special. I feel so special sometimes where it's like, bro, I don't even want to go outside because I feel regular, bro. Sometimes I don't even want to go to the store. Can you go, to, go the to the store? You feel me? Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't, honest, that's not. That's just how I feel, bro. I, that's just how I. But it's it's that. justified because every time yeah, we do bro. go to the store, you get stopped. Every I'll time we go to the mall, the you time, get stopped, bro. And it's you just imagine what it's time. gonna be like in five years. Exactly, and, and it's not. Here. I'm not saying like, I'm too good, but it's like no, I value no, myself no. way more, bro. But, but it's like I'm not pulling not up to every good, single event. I'm not gonna just be regular, easily no. to call. You're, You're not just gonna be able to just fucking see London. You're not just. Bro, I could just call London right now. taking no, that time can't. away. That's like, not any of your shit. Like, you need to have that like mindset. That. You need to have that mentality, fashion, especially to make it in any profession. Yeah, bro. Whether that's music, <laughs> art, that's, bro. acting, w- sports, you have to. There's people that do respect to, it. Those those older people that like you course. said. Yeah, that's fine. Because they because they they see they see, they see the, they Why see does the he have fire. an assistant? You feel me? And why is he moving like that? Why is he? People speculate. People are always watching. People are profit watching. People are always, Facts, you know, Facts. whether they like or comment on any of your stuff on Instagram Facts, or Facebook, bro. just know that they're Facts. they're seeing it. Facts, they're they're watching Facts, it. Facts. They they peeped it maybe Everyone, more than once, bro. to Everyone. say the least. And it's so, mutual, bro. Whether I, I comment or watch or anything on everyone's, bro. <clears throat> Sometimes I'm scrolling, bro. I'm seeing greatness. I love it, bro. You feel me? But all the time, I don't have... Just like people I know scroll and don't comment on my shit and don't... I know that everyone doesn't have the time. Sometimes, it's just like you don't comment on it, whatever. If, like, you feel me? It's just... Yeah. Who it's gives life. a fuck? It's life. Like, I do this shit all the, all day. You feel me? But it's like, there are... Everyone's watching, you know? Everyone in this lifetime is looking at someone great in this world, you know? So just... 
and being inspired, bro. I, 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 I yearn to be inspired every day. I'm inspired by this conversation. Like what? I'm inspired sometimes when even sometimes like, bro, she's sitting in front of me. We'll have a comment like, dang, you inspired me to do this. Like, it's I just remember like, that that's convers- what you need. Uh, I remember when you uploaded, <clears throat> what was that like a month or two ago? That like video that you recorded, I like not you didn't know that you were recording and you were like talking. Yeah, yo, he always <laughs> does that. Oh, yeah. yeah, cause it's like, bro, that <laughs> shit. Like that cakes shit, or some shit. <laughs> like that shit. I was just like, made him breakfast oh, and then oh. I sat down to like tell him about <laughs> his fucking greatness. Yeah, but it's just shit like that. It's like four like, minutes, I, five minutes, that. but yeah, it's you, just like you, you don't, don't even hear know. Shit like that, but like bro, that's you know? that that shows you that's like validation that that's like real. That's not like. Some fake shit like that. Exactly. Like, that's what, you're not, that's you're exactly not doing why I recorded it, bro. For, uh, you didn't even know you were recording it. I thought. No, no I was I recording didn't, it. I she didn't know. know. Oh, I didn't know because everyone always uh, thinks that. Like I say shit just to fucking. Say and it wasn't shit, even a thing to speak. post. Honestly, it's just like a. When she said it, bro, I'm like almost like not tearing, not crying, but tearing, bro. Because that shit, like, that I'm shit, really like you shit. don't hear that, bro. Yeah. And like that is people don't just tell you that bro you know you sit around people a lot bro and sometimes people will sit around your greatness and never tell you how great they are bro they'll Which take your energy and thing. never tell you they'll fucking want to be around your fucking parties and all that and they'll never tell you